Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Chris, and I'm coming at you with a Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. This time, it's on Alpha Sapphire because I finally beat the game. It feels good to have beaten the game. Wi-Fi battle against my boy, Adam. Now, I'm really into this game. I'm really hyped on Pokemon, so I really, really want to battle some more. So if you guys feel like battling, let me know in the comments section below. And here we go. We both lead out with our evolutions. I'm going to go for the Volt Switch and come out with my Toxic Rogue Zits because I have a feeling that Adam's going to stay in here. I'm trying to force the Sylveon out, but just the way Adam plays, I feel like he's going to stay in. Goes for the Calm Mind right here. I wanted a Swords Dance, but knowing Adam, I went for the Gunk Shot. And the Gunk Shot, I mean, get, getting damage on a Pokemon if he did switch out, I see value in that too. It's early game, so, you know, any damage helps. But he stays in. Sylveon is gone. And I'm taking the one Pokemon advantage lead already. So he comes out to the Slow King. Um, get up the Swords Dance expecting a Scald. But uh, it didn't go that way. In fact, it went the way of a Thunder Wave. And that really, really upset me. I was salty. But I was like, to Toxicroak's got this. But he didn't. He got paralyzed. First time getting paralyzed right here, and here comes the Scald. But Zitz has got dry skin, you know, so keep that lotion away. He likes his skin dry, and I like it too. It works out. So we eat an Ice Beam here. I'm staying in. I'm I'm trying to get a dark move off on this Slow King, but uh, Zitz is not down. Zitz is just paralyzed. He he can't get can't get it. He just wants to keep getting hit with these Ice Beams and. I don't like it. I mean, Black Sludge is keeping it up, but here comes the Sucker Punch, finally. And I think it's going to one-hit KO, but no! Slow King is a beast! And hits me with an Ice Wave, and I'm really sad. Because I expected more from my Toxicroak, but... <sighs> those Parahexes, man. It's, uh... It's not a good look. So... I... I don't know. I, I force the Slow King out, at least which is awesome and comes out to the Glaceon, the shiny Glaceon and Zitz ain't having that. Boom! Gets the Drain Punch and heals up a lot of life. Oh, it's so, it's so, it's so good. I was really excited to see that happen. So now we're taking a two Pokemon lead and uh, as long as Zitz keeps hitting his moves, I feel like we're in a good position. So he goes out to the scissor here, and uh, the bullet punch just makes quick work of me. Miss the sucker punch. Zitz is just... This wasn't his battle. It was not his battle. Maybe I should have pulled him back and switched out to something, but I'm not sure. This is still only my fifth. Yeah, this is my fifth Pokemon battle, so I'm still learning. I'm still trying to get used to the ways of battling. So I go out here to Kipper, Mega Evolve, and I f have in my head that this Earthquake is just gonna wreck Scizor. After, of course, I take the priority Bullet Punch. So obviously, Scizor is scarfed. And here we go. Earthquake does a good amount of damage, but I was expecting a one-hit KO. I still am just not sure Go for the rain dance and set it up. I'm I'm feeling really good about the rain. I'm gonna use an another earthquake, I think, right after the here. No, no, no. I go for the waterfall for the stab plus the the rain boost, thinking this will do it. This will do it. I'm gonna win now. So we get rid of Scizor. I'm down one Pokemon. Adam is down three, and he comes out with the Sloking. And I think this was my mistake here, thinking this Earthquake was going to kill the Slow King. Because the Slow King's not having any of that. Instead, he's going to Scald and wreck my day. Bye bye, Kipper. I think that was a mistake. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what I could have done there, but alright. So now I'm down two, Adam's down three, and I go out to Pachi here. Hit him with the Dragon Pulse. Feels good. I really like, um, really like this Pokemon. I really like Rain Dance teams. Like, I want Rain Dance to be my bread and butter, my main 
my main thing. So here comes a Volcarona. And I think this Hydro Pump's gonna wreck him too. Uh, why would he do that? Oh, because it's Focus Sashed. I think I run a Citrus Berry on my Volcarona or a Lum Berry. Do not Focus Sash it, but damn, Focus Sash. Then he gets off the Quiver Dance. I'm like, why are you doing that, dude? It's raining. I'm gonna be faster than you in the rain. And uh, as you'll see, it just stops raining. <laughs> and Bug Buzz is going to KO Pachi. So it's a. I'm down three Pokemon and he's down four. Go out to my Jolteon. Figure I'll outspeed him. But not after. Not after a, um, but of Quiver Dance and. I'm just so glad my Jolteon lived here. My Jolteon living right here is very important. So I Volt Switch as fast as I can. I gotta get out of there. No, no, no. Volt Switch out. And come out to Troa. Now, this this was uh, might have been a mistake too. Because Adam goes out to the shiny Ampharos. Look at how good that thing looks. I go over the Draco Meteor thinking, oh, Mega Evolve, right? Dragon is weak against Dragon, but no, Adam outplays me and does holds back the Mega Evolve. Dragon pulses me back, takes out half of my HP, and I'm scared. Um, I feel like I threw the game right there. I was yelling at the top of my lungs, no! I threw! I threw the game! And uh, here, Ampharos is going to make me pay with his beautiful hair. And I think I should have just went for another Draco Meteor. Just try to get as much damage as I can on uh, the Ampharos. But I was like, Trilla might be bulky. Let's, let's roost. And I was wrong. I was wrong. I've learned from my mistakes. I'll never do this again. Because Trilla bites the dust. And now Adam is evening up the score. Two to two. I got my Robo out here. Send Robo out. Hammer arm thinking that'll do it. And oh, this thing is bulky. But I, I'm not worrying. Despite the Cotton Guard because Ampharos is... Mega Ampharos is slow. So I'm going to get off like three Hammer Arms before... Um, Ampharos will outspeed me, and I was wrong. This Dragon Pulse does so much damage. Surprise I live, got the crit, and then he outsped me on the Hammer Arm. I probably should have gone out to my Jolteon and then switched back in, but uh, one to one. And I outspeed the Ampharos, hoping to just do enough to kill it, and it kills it. I win the game. Of course, I made plenty of mistakes. Only my fifth battle. May I don't even think my team is that great. Like, I probably needed a Rapid Spinner or something. Uh, I maybe Troa didn't fit. But I won, and it was a really good battle. We did three battles. The second battle is going to come up right after this. So be sure to check it out. Slap a like, slap a subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.